the Ford GT program was a success for Ford because of the amount of planning that went into it. We started thinking about this car and going to Le Mans five or six years before we actually went. So there was a lot of preparation, a lot of work, a lot of engine development, a lot of car development, and maybe most importantly, there was a lot of enthusiasm on behalf of my father, who was convinced that, uh, that we should beat Ferrari uh, on their turf uh, at Le Mans. GT 108 is the embryo of the program. It, it really was. And uh, that car went through uh, a lot of modifications in development, but that's how we got to our two victories, was through the beginning with that car. Things are in an extremely experimental state. The headlamps to the fog lamps and the air intake here in the center haven't grown to the graphic and personality that we know as a GT40. The lines are quite beautiful. It all looks like jewelry. It is, it's just a beautiful car, and it definitely says a lot about the beginning of the four GTs. Just prior to shipping over to Le Mans in 1966, we all got a chance to read a little 3x5 card that was passed around, and in ballpoint pen on the 3x5 card, this handwritten statement was, you will win HF2. It was a, a huge effort. There were lots of Ford engineers, and bringing that many cars to one race was a monumental effort. We thought we were gonna beat Ferrari, and then of course when we came in one, two, and three, that was a pretty exciting day for Ford.